With any game console comes loads and loads of accessories that are either good or bad. And with the Nintendo Switch being both a portable and home console, the possible accessories have practically doubled. From cases, chargers, battery packs, headsets, kickstands, and even third-party docks. We don't recommend you get one of those docks though, stick with a Nintendo brand on that one. In order for you, the viewers, to not pick out the wrong accessory for your Nintendo Switch, we're going to take a look at some of the best ones for the money. In order to help us out, we brought in our friend Alan, who is also editing this video. How you doing, Alan? I sure hope this video's not gonna suck. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to, Joey. I'm ready to talk about some Nintendo Switch accessories. However, before we get to that, look at this awesome Nintendo branded travel merch. Where was this when we went on our European expedition this past month? I would have loved to roll around this bright yellow question block luggage. And this passport cover, my dude? Please, let me have that. If you're not a fan of this travel gear, I'm gonna block out you haters with these Mario and Yoshi themed eye masks. Sure, these are at Nintendo Switch accessories, but we just have to bring them up. Check out the link in the description below to see where you can buy them. Now then, on to the Nintendo Switch accessories. Our first accessory is a newly released one at that, and is a solution to one of the problems that Nintendo Switch has charging the system while in tabletop mode. The adjustable charging stand fixes this problem by having the charging input on the side. Not only that, but you can adjust the angle of the switch in more ways than you can with the default kickstand. I've personally never liked the kickstand on the switch, so this charging stand actually fixes two problems instead of one, and only for 20 US dollars. This is definitely a must if you play a lot in tabletop mode. But if you don't want to deal with the Joy-Con grip like I am and want a new controller without the steep price tag of the Pro Controller, our friend JJ Lugo from The Coalition recommends the Wired Nyko Core Controller. Nyko tends to be a hit or miss with their accessories, especially with a certain portable dock, but the $20 Core Controller is good when it comes to third-party standards. Still, it's always better to fork over the extra cash for that amazing Pro Controller. Speaking of controllers, the complimentary Joy-Con grip that comes with the Nintendo Switch system doesn't charge your Joy-Cons, and the Nintendo Chargeable Grip is another $30. Luckily, there are alternatives and the best value for your buck must be the wireless chatpad keyboard for Nintendo Switch made by Effion. This rechargeable grip doesn't only offer a solid keyboard, but also fully charges your Joy-Cons within 90 minutes. Part is that it's available on Amazon for under $25 US and comes with a 12-month warranty. For us there is no doubt, the chatpad is a way better option than the chargeable Joy-Con grip as it isn't too big while still keeping the keyboard buttons fully usable for anyone accustomed to writing on a smartphone keyboard. Next, the Switch dock is boring. Just look at that grey matter. Yuck. Luckily there is a solution to that in the form of a light up dock shield for $20. Plug this into your dock and you have a bright and colorful display with the themes of Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey. It is a must if you want some personality on that bad boy. Then comes the case of a headset. If you like playing Fortnite on the Switch, well you're in luck, because the game doesn't require you to use that dumb online mobile app for voice chat. If you want something that delivers rich sound and has a mic for voice chat, SteelSeries Arctis 3 headset is one of the best options. With 7.1 surround sound and adjustable microphone, this headset is not only perfect for the Nintendo Switch, but other consoles and music players as well. I've personally owned this headset since the month the Switch came out, and it is hands down one of the most comfortable and lightweight headsets I've ever used. I'd put them in this video, but I can't seem to find them right now. I need to have a word with my girlfriend about that. This is the most expensive piece of equipment on our list, coming in at around $80, but it's $80 well spent. If you want something more Nintendo themed though, then this Breath of the Wild themed Astro A10 headset is coming out on October 5th for $70. I think I need to hit that pre-order button now. And if you're still enjoying Nintendo Labo, there is another accessory that might just be up your alley. This cardboard arcade kit from Nyko really gives you that arcade feel, and it also comes with custom joysticks to attach to your Joy-Cons. Hey, joysticks, Joy-Cons, it all makes sense now. Sure, it's technically not Labo, but you know you're already picturing yourself playing some Street Fighter on this bad boy. 
Next, we have this hybrid cover from Power A, a Breath of the Wild themed one at that. Not only does it protect your Switch's screen, but it also has a more adjustable kickstand than that of the default one. Plus, it has a very nice leatherette texture to it. Not real leather, otherwise it would cost more than that $20 price tag. But hey, it's summer, which means that road trips are more than likely to occur. So to keep those little tykes of yours busy in the back seat, you might consider getting this car headrest mount for a mere $11. While it does work for other devices such as phones and tablets, there is no denying that the Nintendo Switch is where it's at for on-the-road entertainment. Upon writing this video, we took to Twitter to ask you guys what accessories you recommend, which is where we got the recommendation for the Nyko Core Controller. And JJ also recommended the Nyko Swivel Grips for the Joy-Cons. They're neat little things that help you grip those tiny little Joy-Cons for only $10. And since they fold, they double as comfort grips while using them in single-player settings. Granted, I don't know how comfortable they can be since I don't own them, but if you do, let us know what they're like. But by far, the coolest accessory was set by Doom2332, being the grip case by Skull and Company. Holy hell does that thing look amazing! The case has slots to hold 10 cartridges, a mesh pocket to hold chargers and wrist straps, and a kickstand that displays the Switch at three different angles. But the best part is the shell you put your Switch in. It enlarges the shoulder buttons, gives you incredibly comfortable grips, and it still fits in the dock despite all that. This package comes in at around $50, which is understandable given just how much you're getting. We mostly covered Switch accessories that are already out on the market, but there are ones in the future that we are very excited about namely the Pokeball Plus. We tried this out at E3, and it doubles as both a Joy-Con with only the control stick and two buttons, and a device to help you detect wild Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Our dreams of becoming real Pokemon trainers are becoming more and more realized as you can play the entirety of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee with just these controllers. Pokemon is cool and all, Alan, but you know what I'm really excited for? Starlink Battle for Atlas. You shouldn't let the fact that this is a Toys to Life game scare you, because the toys are not required to enjoy this game. But trust me, you're going to want to buy this starter kit, because it has a freaking R-Wing. Yes, please. I will be playing the hell out of Starlink with an R-Wing figure strapped to my controller, and there is nothing you can do about it, goddammit! It wouldn't surprise me if Starlink turns out to be the best Star Fox game since Star Fox 64, and it's not even a Star Fox game, really, he's just a character in it. But still, this is really cool, and you can expect us to cover this game near the launch in October. Alright, calm down everyone and bow to the king of all Nintendo Switch accessories this holiday season. Namely the Invincible GameCube controller adapter and the new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate GameCube controller. Yes, girls and guys, it exists, and we got to try it with Nintendo K, Danny, and Evelyn at the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Invitational VIP event. As expected, this adapter will plug into your Nintendo Switch dock and offer four slots for your Super Smash Bros. Ultimate style GameCube controller and traditional GameCube controllers. The controller and adapter is already up for pre-order at multiple sites, and if you were concerned, we can confirm firsthand that these are the real deal. Also, if you already have the Wii U GameCube controller adapter, then you don't have to get a new one as it is supported by the Nintendo Switch. But are you really willing to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with a Wii U Mark GameCube controller adapter? That is the big question. But those are all the Switch accessories we have for you in this episode. Obviously, there are way more than what we covered in this video, so please leave a comment with your recommendations on more Nintendo Switch accessories. A special thanks goes to Alan for joining us and editing this video. Let us know where we can find you, buddy. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. You can find me at Twitter at Alonzo Mega. You can find my art at Curly Supreme on Facebook. And you can see my written works at NukeTheFridge.com. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to know when we upload a new video on the Commonwealth Realm, ranging from our Inside Super Smash Bros. series, timeline videos, and Nintendo Switch news. Oh yeah, did we mention that Nintendo Switch news is coming back? We'd also like to thank all our glorious Patreon.com slash Common Realm supporters, including Royal Producer Kenyatta Ali. 
Be sure to visit us on Patreon by clicking the link in the description below. We give our patrons exclusive content such as our podcast and metal pins. Until then, this has been the Commonwealth Realm, and we will see you in the next one.